Hello, I'm Jochen Sieg. I'm from the Center for Bioinformatics at the University of Hamburg and I'm a PhD student in the group of Professor Matthias Rarei. When working with mutations in structural bioinformatics, for example in mutation modeling or method development for protein design, the experimental protein structure data available to the project is often crucial. However, often structures for both the wild type and the mutant are not available for a comparison. To address this issue, we developed a new tool for database search of experimental mutant structures for a given wild type structure. Our new method focuses on the local 3D microenvironment of the mutation position, and we demonstrate that with our new tool we can provide a wealth of wild type mutant structure pairs from the PDB that are exemplifying the local effects of mutations. Um, input to the tool is a single protein structure considered the wild type. A database similarity search is performed for the local microenvironment of each residue and the input structure separately. Protein structures containing similar microenvironments but with a different residue at the position of the query residue are retrieved from the database. The result of the workflow is one mutant structure ensemble for each residue of the input protein, which can be used for visual inspection or downstream processing. The method is based on the Ascona Siena technology, which was originally developed for binding site confirmation search within our group. Let's walk through one example of searching with a single query residue to illustrate the algorithm. The query residue is selected and the local microenvironment is computed simply by collecting all residues within a distance cutoff to the query residue. From the residues of this um, environment, connected sequence fragments are generated, which are subsequently used for a fast KMR-based database lookup to retrieve a list of candidate structures from the database. The candidate list is then examined in detail with the Ascona tool. Ascona searches for similar microenvironments in the candidates by first matching the query sequence fragments with the candidate sequences and then optimizing this matching with a geometric score to identify similar um, 3D arrangements. With this algorithm, structures can be retrieved that um, contain microenvironments that are identical in sequence, except for the query residue position, of course, and are also similar in structure. Global deviations are not relevant as long as the local microenvironment is reasonably similar. We evaluated the tool based on known protein structure pairs consisting of wild type and the corresponding mutant. For this purpose, we use three thermodynamic mutation datasets for evaluation. We evaluated how many of these known structure pairs can be retrieved with our tool. For this purpose, we split um, uh, the experiment in a baseline experiment that uses only the Ascona tool and does not perform a database search and an experiment that uses the whole workflow. So the baseline is a subset of the whole workflow. The mean retrieval rate of non wild type mutant structure pairs over three datasets um, is 98% for the baseline and 19% uh, for the whole workflow. This shows that we lose 8% in comparison to the baseline when we use the whole workflow, which indicates that there is potential for improvement in the database search. However, a mean retrieval rate of 90% is probably already sufficient for many or even most applications. And in our first application, we wanted to know for how many mutations in common mutation datasets we can annotate mutant structures, since these are rather scarcely annotated. Um, here we use five mutation datasets, including mutations on protein ligand complexes and protein-protein interfaces. In each case, the annotation coverage of mutant structures could be increased by at least 2.4-fold, and having protein structures for both the wild type and the mutant is valuable for training and validating new methods for predicting effects upon mutation. So for example, stability or affinity changes upon mutation. Um, regardless of the mutations in these mutation datasets, the PDB holds many more wild type mutant structure pairs that are readily available for different applications. When we use the wild type proteins from the mutation datasets for searching the PDB, we find thousands of unique protein structure pairs which make it exciting to explore how many pairs there are through the whole PDB. The current median runtime of the method is 10.5 seconds on the Proteum datasets, dataset with 80% of searches taking less than 
23 seconds. This runtime of just a few seconds allows an interactive exploration of mutant structures from a database. I also brought um, two interesting examples. The first shows that our method allows to specifically search for mutations of protein-protein interfaces. When a query residue is at the interface, the query 3D microenvironment will contain the chains of the interface and they will be used in the search. And the second example shows that mutations in structural diverging environments can be found. For example, mutations involving proline. And in this example here, the found environment contains a loop with a switched orientation of side chains. And we can specifically filter for such deviations by using a local RMSD filter. In conclusion, we present a new tool for analyzing single mutations with experimental structure pairs based on highly similar 3D microenvironments. And with this tool, we hope to provide experimental structures to studies currently lacking in mutant structure and foster the development of new methods in protein design. The tool will be made available as a command line tool and at our web server, the Proteins Plus. And finally, I want to thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please let me know.